Huge changes are coming to Snowbreak. The dev just gave more detail of their plan for the upcoming updates on Bilibili. First, they're adding auto-aiming with damage penalty option to mobile. Hopefully, this will reduce the difficulty of playing the game in mobile because it get pretty hard later on even for PC. Second, they're reducing the dupe required to max out an orange weapon's modification. It currently costs 4 dupe to max out a weapon to tier 5. After the update, modification will only go up to tier 2 which only costs 1 dupe, and the weapon's passive at tier 2 will be the same as the current tier 5. New currency called weapon parts will be added to the game. You can use 30 weapon parts to purchase one duplicate of an orange weapon you already own. For people who has already modified their orange weapon past tier 2, their weapon's modification will go down to tier 2. In compensation, they will get 30 weapon parts for each tier above 2. For people who has over 2 copies of an orange weapon, counting tier 2 weapon as 2, they will receive 20 weapon parts per extra unmodified weapon without recalling the weapon. After the patch, extra unmodified weapon can be dismantled for 10 weapon parts each. Just a warning for everyone, do not dismantle your weapon right now, you have to wait for the update to drop before weapon parts become a thing. They have also dropped the details of the coming balance patch. Look like there are no nerfs this time. They're buffing the stats and or the skill of the falling operatives. Acacia Kaguya, Acacia Reducted, Freetia Hush, Marion Swift, Fenny Cronet, Lift Wednesday, Haru the Ace, Chrono Those Two, and Inna Bixis. The details of what change will be applied for each character is still unknown, but it's good to see them getting buffed anyway. Next up are some adjustments for certain skills and weapon. Marion Swift's die wall alignment will increase her magazine size by 1. Hopefully, the magazine size increase will scale with alignment index and doesn't completely replace the defense penetration. Horn of the Orca will replenish ammo even if the stand shot did not hit the enemy weak point. Sadly, it won't be working on scope shot. They're probably planning for a sniper operative that's more focused on scope shot in the future. Freytia Hasha's base skill range will be increased to 10 meters and the bullet homing strength are increased. Her ultimate also will provide 20% shield and optimized rotating control during it. And finally, they're adding stagger to Finny Cronet's skill and ultimate. They're also optimizing the issue where double tapping her skill would cancel it immediately. Well, that's all the change they have announced this time. I think the game is moving in a very good direction, with Dev being incredibly responsive to player feedbacks. Let me know what you think in the comment down below. If you'd like to see other changes announced for the upcoming patch for 27th of July, click on the video on your screen.